Hi, and welcome to the Screencast-O-Matic tutorial by the Mary F. English Program. A screencast is what we call recording everything that's happening on your computer screen. What you're watching right now is a screencast, so as you can tell, you can also record an audio narration over your screencast. The most popular screencasts on the internet are probably the Khan Academy tutorial videos, which provide educational lessons on a variety of subjects, uh, K-12 through and some college-aged. They have over 3,900 screencasts on KhanAcademy.org. Making screencasts is probably the most essential skill that you need to know if you want to create a flipped learning environment for your classroom. Flipped learning, as we talk about in the Intro to Khan Academy video, is the practice of recording video lessons which you assign your students to watch the night before class. And then the next day you have the students do practice problems, or what we traditionally think of as homework, and you can give the students more over-the-shoulder assistance because you're not spending all or most of class time with the daily lecture. Instead, they're hearing the lecture the night before. They can rewind it if they're confused. Um, and then when it's time to practice in class the next day, you, the teacher, has more time available to help them. So there are at least four good free options out there for you to start recording screencasts from home. There is Cam Studio, which is open source. It's totally free. You would download and install it, and it allows you to make unlimited length uh, screencast recordings. The only drawback to Cam Studio is it's a little more complicated to use than the other screencasting options, but it does give you a rich set of tools that you can use for totally free. Another is ScreenR, which you can use by going to ScreenR.com. It's a great option for making screencasts, but it's limited to five minutes for free. You'll have to pay for a premium subscription in order to record longer videos. And the same applies for Jing. It's another screencasting software, but it limits you to five minute videos for free, and you have to pay for a premium subscription for longer. Screencast-O-Matic works very much like ScreenR and Jing, except it allows you a 15-minute time limit for recording for free videos, and you can pay a premium subscription for about 30 bucks a year, and that will allow you to make unlimited recordings. Now, I'm actually using Screencast-O-Matic right now to make this recording, so I'll explain the program using screenshots, because Screencast-O-Matic becomes invisible when I click record, so I can't demonstrate it live. So first navigate to screencast-o-matic.com. Something that's great about it is you don't have to actually install it. You can start recording directly from the website. But if you want to use it offline when you don't have internet access, you can click the download and install button and use it that way. So if we press the start recording button, the Screencast-O-Matic interface would display. After we hit the record button, then anything that happens between these dotted lines is going to be recorded. A very handy shortcut to remember is Alt-P. Instead of pressing the record button, you can press Alt-P at any time to start or pause a recording. And this is a very helpful feature if you're like me and you make a lot of mistakes, because you can hit Alt-P, you can rewind the video to just before you make the mistake, and begin re-recording from that point on. You can select the microphone you want to record with through this menu, or you could record with no microphone and only the video would record. Now, Screencast-O-Matic is not going to record any of the sounds that your machine is making through your speakers, for example, but it can do that. You just need to pay for a premium subscription, and I actually have a premium subscription, so I have this advanced tab, and I'll show you that in a minute. Clicking here will let you adjust your microphone volume. Clicking here will let you adjust the screen size that you want to record. So it has preset values. I tend to use full screen because it lets you show everything. Otherwise, you can adjust the recording size with these boxes here. You can stretch it to whatever size you want. And this is what it would look like if it was in full screen mode. You can see it says full screen here. This button lets you turn on your webcam. So if I wanted to record myself while I'm giving this talk, I would click the Lenovo Easy Camera button here. And my webcam would turn on and I'd be able to see myself as I'm doing the recording. Everything I do here while I'm making the screencast is going to be recorded. And after you're done making the recording, you'll be able to take this webcam video and drop it anywhere you want 
within your screencast so you'll be able to show how the screen is working and also give it a personal touch by adding yourself to the video which I'm not personally the most keen on doing. If you pay for the premium package you'll have this advanced tab in your Screencast-O-Matic interface. Click it and you'll be given a few more options such as the ability to record audio from your computer so instead of just recording from your microphone anything that comes out of your speakers would also be recorded in the screencast. You can also adjust the frame rate of the recording it's on the lowest by default but that's pretty good if you put it any higher it's going to take up a lot more memory for the video and may run slower on some machines and premium offers more than just these two features you can also record unlimited length videos instead of the 15 minute limited videos and premium also offers editing tools you can use once your screencast is already finished so after we've started and completed our recording, there would be a Done button that we can press here. If we press the Done button, we would see this screen. Here you can review the screencast you just made. You can put a name here. If you pay for premium, you'll have an Edit Recording option here. But without the premium version, you'll have a Screencast-O-Matic, a YouTube, and a video file that you can select for publishing options. The Screencast-O-Matic option will let you publish directly to Screencast-O-Matic's web page. And this is a good option if you are making this video for a K-12 environment where maybe YouTube is blocked like, like it is at most schools. So you can publish your video to Screencast-O-Matic's website, which usually is not filtered by school's filtering systems. Otherwise, you can use the Publish to YouTube option and all you will need to do down here is enter your username and password and Screencast-O-Matic will publish your video directly to your YouTube channel. Lastly, you can publish to a video file which will save the video directly to your hard drive and I highly recommend doing this with all of your videos so you have a backup in your possession in case it's lost on YouTube or Screencast-O-Matic. And that's it. If you'd like a tour of the world's most popular educational screencasting website, check out our Khan Academy and Flip Learning intro. Thanks for watching.